guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of the Bar Brigade Talk Show. We got Silent Mike, we got Nikki Rod. This is one of the juiciest topics and quite literally one of the juiciest topics. Um, as of recently, some people have been calling you out that you're on gear. Mm. And uh, I saw that you went to go get tested like right away. And then pretty much more plates, more dates has validated that you're not. Um, has that like that new verdict been positive for you, negative for you? Do you think it helps hush the naysayers or do you think there's still haters who are like, no, that's fucking bullshit? I feel like Derek from More Place, More Dates is, is uh, very verified in the aspect of Natty or not. Like if there's, I mean, I'm not a professional on gear or even how to tell if somebody's on gear. Um, but... You know, if I had to guess, I'm like, this guy probably knows what he's talking about. I feel like he's spent years doing Natty or Nots. He's, he seems, he speaks like he's a smart guy. So I feel the like I'm to get to listen, right? Yeah, smart as fuck. Yeah, he's yeah. got a lot of followers doing something. Yeah, yeah When he exactly. starts saying the chemicals, like first and last name and middle yeah. name of the full chemical, you're like, oh, fuck, this guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah, so, um, I mean, how this, I guess it, okay. So this pretty much uh, came. Started with Gordon, Ryan. It started with Gordon, right? So this came about, so after I broke Gordon's foot in our in our match, uh, he goes on the mic, he's like, Nicky Rod was greasing, that's why he broke my foot, right? He tells everybody that I cheated, that I covered my body in grease, even though that's, a f that's false, right? And he. That's against the rules. That's against the rules. In addition to sure. that. Yeah. It's not greasing. In addition to that, um, Gordon had had the UFC, you know, employees literally pat me down be twice before the match and once after the match to make sure I wasn't greasing. So uh, there's no room for a mistake there, right? Had professional people touching me, m feeling my skin and whatnot, make sure I'm not Is greasing. Is greasing an actual thing in grappling? It's definitely a thing. I've I've gone against people that like you touch them and they're like they're slipping out of out of everything. It's not. It has nothing to do with like maybe. The way people sweat or anything. Yeah, well, you can't well, moisturize in your sport. Everyone's just got dry ass skin. They definitely can moisturize. Um, no, they can, not supposed to moisturize like day before. But oh, also, like God. a guy like Gordon, he shaves his shaves his body, so it's like you, like he's he's super slippery himself. You know what I mean? But and a lot of guys, like I'm personally, I'm too manly to sh to take hair off my body because yeah. I'm worried about another man. Same. But uh, a guy like me, <laughs> you know, an alpha male, I'm gonna keep this hair. And, but other guys definitely lube up sometimes. You know, I've definitely had matches where I touch this guy or, or I look at him. I'm like, this guy's shining. Like, why is he so? Why is he glistening right now? Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful, but he's glistening, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that pretty much started because uh, he accused me of greasing, and I was like, I was like, all right, I'm gonna play the play a bit quiet. I'm not gonna respond, but I'm gonna go on Mark Bell's podcast because I know I had that coming up, and I'll say my verdict there. I, kn I knew that they were gonna ask me about the match, whatever. So I go on Mark Bell's podcast. And they talk about the match or whatever, and, and they were like, you know, were you greasing? I, and I was like, I was like, no. And they were like, what do you think makes Gordon good? I was like, bro, if I'm being honest, he's abusing steroids, and he had he has never won a high level competition without abusing steroids. So with that said, he his whole thing is his whole schmiel is like technique is everything. It's like, why are you why are you trying to be so strong? If you need if you need to take steroids to be at the highest level or you're truly at the highest level, I would say not. Granted, there's 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 no testing at ADCC, although there is testing in the in IBJJF, which a lot of people have competed and have won and have oh, already they test there? They test there. Oh. We had we had we had a few guys recently get get caught up in the USADA testing and kind of get their medals thrown out. But it's so, like so many people do steroids in the world of jiu-jitsu, it's like, they're like, why wouldn't I? Well, I wouldn't because, first of all, I'm a fitness model, right? I don't want to be ugly like these guys. A lot of these, <laughs> a lot of these guys are hideous. It grows the head, they're like, faces mm -hmm. get this, their face is disproportionate, they're like puffy, it's just ugly. I'm a man dime for a reason, God made me this way, I'm honest, we'll stay this way, right? You get the puffy <laughs> nipple action. Yep. No one likes long yep. nipples. And then they're very short, like, for, like I, don't, I don't, who knows, maybe in the future when I'm trying to compete later on in my life, I'll do gear, I don't know. But for now, I'm natty, I love the way I look, and in my opinion, the younger guys that are doing gear, it's like they're a bit short-sighted, because 
yeah, maybe you gain 20, 30, 40 pounds of muscle like in a few months or a couple, in a year or whatever, but you can get that progress just takes longer. Like I've been, I lifted like a bodybuilder for seven to eight years and it took me about that long to build this, right? Although it's a, it's a substantial amount of time. I mean, my health is great besides the high cholesterol from eating so much so much red meat. I don't know if you guys, did you watch the Natty or Nothing? No, not the full thing. Okay, so yeah, so my blood work came back and I, I'm sure this had some, some played some part in it, but because I knew it was like about hormones and stuff, I'm like, all right, like I'm not really going to do the fasting thing. Like, so I just like kind of eat like shit the night before up until like <laughs> 2 a.m., right? The blood test was at like 9 a.m. I had like fucking ribeyes and cookies the night before at like up until 2 a.m., right? So I go not fully fasted. I even had some grapes in the morning before, which was also really bad. So my hemoglobin and shit was kind of off. But hormones wise, like to test, you could, he, Derek was like, dude, you're never, you, you haven't took gear in a super long time. And by I can tell, and, and from what he can tell, almost never, right? So yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's why I really never did gear because I don't want to be like, these guys are kind of ugly. I don't like the way it deforms <laughs> like their bodies and stuff. Um, and I feel like I can get the same, I have gotten the same progress from lifting weights. So, and I, I tell the younger guys, the youth of the sport, like, listen, if you want to get big, eat your body weight and protein, lift consistently. Even if you're doing jits, try to lift three, four times a week. And I would say like a bodybuilder, I mean, you can do the powerlifting stuff depending, it depends what your goals are, right? If you want to get strong, I think powerlifting is a great way to, to build strength, but if you want to get strong and look your best, I think looking your best would, you have to lean more towards a bodybuilding yeah, style, yeah, yeah. side. So uh, pick what, you, what your, your, your what your goal is and then go from there. But I don't think gear is necessary, although it helps for sure. I mean, you, I think a guy like me could get on gear and I could probably hit, you know, 280 pretty fast. You know, I know how my body reacted just from eating right and lifting hard. I can only imagine if I was taking some growth hormone or something. Is what that do you the upper up limit of uh, the 80 cc heavyweight weight class is that like 280 there's no weight limit oh, so i've had yeah. i've gone against guys that uh 360 pounds upwards of 300 pounds so God. granted there's a there's a, a rate of diminishing returns as far as cardio and ability to uh, move efficiently and effectively when you're that size uh but still i've gone you know i've gone against guys 300 plus and it's hard to move but i get the job done Jiu-jitsu, uh, I've never practiced or grappled anything in my life, but uh, I am interested in PEDs. Uh, and I know like other sports, there's tons of PEDs. Like yep. when we talk about um, natty or not, or whatever, it's normally talking about like testosterone, trenbolone, D-ball, all these things that put on mass and build muscle. Like you said, that could never hurt, right? Because mm -hmm. being stronger helps every sport on the yep. planet. But there's other stuff like Lance Armstrong getting caught. There's blood doping. Uh, like do they? Crazy I, I think, yeah. Cardio. Do they test for any of that either? Bro, I don't think they. Te I think only uh, IBJJF has USADA involved. And I mean, I think so many people got got caught that they're like, they're like, yeah, we're not going to use USADA. We're not going to test uh, drug test anymore. Too strict. Too, it's just. I think it's just. Uh, the sports just everybody. Yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's what it is. Yeah. All the top guys were on gear. Like, I'm not going to lie. I might be one of like maybe five guys in my whole sport in all weight classes at the highest level that is not taking steroids like it's wow. it's very select few amount of guys that are not taking gear let's say you uh you get back at adcc and you're trying to become the best and if there were i don't know maybe three or four string of losses put together by all guys that take gear would that help you reconsider or would you still want to retain your man dimeness I mean, definitely the only guys I have lost to have been taking, have took gear, you know, been yeah. on, on steroids. Uh, but I, I feel like I would need to reach the peak of the pinnacle of my technical ability and then take steroids. That makes sense. Like, I don't so want to maximize your inside first, who you are first, who you are, what your reactions are. Cause like strong is good. But if you don't know mechanics, you don't know breaking mechanics, you don't know sequences that are going to have, uh, lead to success in the match, then steroids, it's like you're strong, but what are you strong at, right? You have to, you have to be, mm. the best guys are doing gear, but they also have phenomenal technique. Sure. So for me, get, I'll have, I'll get phenomenal technique. And I think once I hit the, the peak of my technical ability, I think I'll be considered number one. Is the natty or not thing, are you aware of that? Cause natty or not in our world has been a thing for like a decade. That I definitely, I've, I've been aware of it. And I was like, I know like, um, I was hoping that Derek would like, hit me up somehow cool. and, we, and we get a, nary, a natty or not, you know, like, I, I, cause I feel like that's the only way to prove it. Like I could show blood work, but like, to me, I'm looking at blood work. I, I don't know what I'm showing you know, it's just, 
just a bunch of numbers to me, numbers and words. So uh, I'm happy it worked out. And, uh, you know, if, if they want another random blood test, I'll do it again. No problem. Yeah. Do you think that's something that's like you're glad you got out there? Because I'm sure in the world, like people see you. I, I think you're one of the few grapplers that also likes to show that you like to lift weights. So I think yeah. as soon as people see that, they're like, I knew that motherfucker's on steroids. Like, are you happy that's out? I'm definitely happy that it's out and it's widely known now that I'm a natural athlete and have been for my, I have been my whole career. And it, I mean, for one, it definitely helps my lifting programs because people are like, why would I lift if I can just take gear? Cause some, some people, I mean, I'm not the, I'm not the most knowledgeable guy on these supplements, but I know some guys that can take certain type of steroids and just kind of sit on the couch and gain muscle. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it's, uh, it's very interesting to me. Cause I mean, to me, gaining a few pounds of muscle is hard. It's hard you know, yeah. it takes, it takes a long time. It takes a lot of consistency and even more than the lifting weights is the food. Like I have to eat so much food, like bare minimum my body weight and protein so you minimum about 240 grams a day uh but i would try to get one and a half every day so in like 300, 300. 315 grams yeah, oh yeah so it's tough so every day for years i was going to sleep full my stomach starts so shoving down food and it was like it's like you know maybe i didn't have to do that if i took uh, different supplements but um, I'm happy I did. I'm happy I'm a natural athlete. I'm happy I built this, and I can display to the to the youth coming up that you don't need to take steroids if you really want to get some size. You just have to be consistent in your diet and lifting and your training. You're talking about like um, your diet and also like uh, all the stuff that you have to do to become like world class. So in addition to the, the fun stuff, which is like the jujitsu and the grappling, like what are the other components? Like I know boxers do road work, like do you do any of that and weights? Like what are the other things that you have to make sure is in order for you to be the best? So I do extracurriculars like like lifts and different variations of lifts. Maybe I lift like CrossFit, maybe I lift bodybuilder style. But honestly, I think all of the work can be done inside the grappling room. Cause like I've, t I've grappled with, you know, guys that are in CrossFit and stuff like that. And granted they have great cardio, but there's some aspects um, that fatigue them in the Jiu Jitsu world that wouldn't necess necessarily fatigue them that bad in the, in the CrossFit world. Mm. Um, so my opinion, you can get all the endurance and technical uh, and technique that you need in the, on the mats. Um, but I think the road work and stuff like that is a, a cherry on top. My my source of extracurriculars is going to be the the weightlifting and I, the weightlifting in different styles because I at heart like I love I love lifting weights. I love what it does for my body. You know I like the idea of, of getting stronger, both like my muscles, my bones growing, like all, all that stuff. I like being more dense human. Um, but I don't think it's completely necessary to do like, you know, runs on the road or, or assault bike things. I do it because I think it's fun and because I know most other people don't do it. Mm -hmm. Do you practice also shaking the hips in the mirror in case like jujitsu doesn't work out? Well, while I lift weights, I have mirrors surrounding me to help build my ego and keep my hips in order. I see. See, those are the key tips. Hips don't lie. Yeah, from a world-class grappler, hips don't lie. So always stay ready to shake those hips. If you guys want quality, the most, the most highest quality jujitsu content in the world, subscribe to B Team Jiu Jitsu on YouTube and buy our merch. MD, MGK Mexican Ground Karate. We got this beautiful green and yellow hat. B -team you also have uh, digital programs and stuff. Yes, I sell, I sell instructionals both technique and lifting uh if you guys want to get quality jiu-jitsu technique check out the roddy lock passing system some some i've learned throughout the years and i've had success with the best grapplers in the world so you have the roddy lock you have takedowns to back control you have my perfect lifting program you have a hundred ways to build athleticism uh, over the years i've accumulated all these different ways from wrestling to jiu-jitsu that i have became the perfect athlete and you guys can do so as well what about the uh, Nikki Rod steroid protocol? Is that a good program to buy? That's on my perfect lifting program. I teach you how to avoid gear and how to gain muscle. How to not get ugly. Uh, there you go. <laughs>